is hot. Woo! 91 degrees. Dang. What is up, all you real people, and welcome back to the channel. Well, today, guys, as you just saw, it is 91 degrees outside, and that is really hot. So, I'm still recovering from my summer and some last week, so I'm not going to go out and fish today. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some videos that I've accumulated over the week, bass fishing and throwing the frog at local ponds here and there. I haven't caught any huge ones yet, but I've caught a bunch of dinks, and I'm going to show you a few clips of those videos. And then later, after that, I'm going to show you all some cool rod and reels my aunt gave me. I got some Shimano's, and I got some really cool rods. I'm really loving right now but guys before we get into these videos make sure to please like and subscribe to the dark real channel and please hit the big thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can but guys let's get to these videos Oh, got one. There we go on the Kytec swim bait, little guy. Long. Yeah, he nailed it too. It's a nicer one. Told you. What's up, Thomas? The usual. Catching bass, kick. Practice, that's what you're doing. It shouldn't be the practice. It's practice. Ooh, that's close to one. Yeah. We'll find out. It did last. Nah, he's more than that. Thirteen ounces. Eh. <laughs> oh damn! He ripped the tail off. That was my last one. You got him. I think it's a nicer one, unless it's just a lot of moss. Probably just a lot of moss. Oh, he scarfed it. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I got him. He downed it. There we go. Yeah, nice little guy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed those little clippets of me catching some dinks, but uh, here we go. We're going to have to look into the rod and reel arsenal and the new rods and poles that I got from my aunt. And I got them all set up right here for you, so let's take a look right here. Okay, so first off, we have this guy. It's the Excelsior by uh, Neowa, I think. Uh, by Neowa. And for right now, I just have that on my um, really old Black Max rod. And then over here, we uh, currently have the uh, Abigail Garcia Black Max 
on the Eva Garcia Veritas with uh, my uh, Savage Gear 3D Glide Bait. Now, I originally had this one on, this, but this has a 7 to 1 gear ratio and this one has a 6 to 1 gear ratio. And I wanted something a little bit slower for the Glide Bait, so that's what I have on right there. Then moving over, we have my Always Loyal Eva Garcia Revo X that I absolutely love, and it's connected to the Revo X. Uh, pole is a 30 ton uh, medium heavy and right now I have that on a rage tail with a 1 8 ounce swim bait Now moving over y'all if y'all watch my videos you see my aunt She uses something just like this always using the wacky worm of course So this is a temple fork rod. It's a medium rod. It is super nice I have never fished with these before But I love them temple fork outfitters. It's a 6 9 medium and that is on the Shimano Grotto. The, and it's, let me try to zoom in for it. Oh, right there. Shimano Grotto 100D. That is an awesome, smooth, smooth reel. I really love that one. I'm still trying to learn how to use it kind of and work the wacky rig, but it is an awesome, awesome setup. Then over here, we have another Abu Garcia Revo X. This is the 7 1 gear ratio because it's my top water. And I have it laced up with 20 pound braided line and is on the uh, Abu Garcia Vigilant 2.0 and that, that's awesome a medium heavy rod and then over here this is my new it's uh, Skeet Reeves and now if y'all don't know what Skeet Reeves rods are they are crankbait rods they are super flexible at the tip they really really bend really really bend and they're really flexible rods and on that I have the uh, Shimano uh, Serica let's see if I can zoom in it's the 200E series. Now this one's really good, really slow. It's a, uh, what is the action on this guy? I believe it is, I believe it's the six to one gear ratio on that. So it's kind of slow. So that way I get the crankbait moving real slow and I can feel everything as it's down there. But I absolutely love this rod. I haven't caught any bass on it yet, but I love it. Never had a crankbait rod, so it's my first one. And it is really cool because it's so flexible and so durable. I can literally feel everything when it's hitting the bottom so there you go guys those are my rod and reels my original ones were the Abu Garcia because I'm just a huge Abu Garcia fan but my aunt she really had to put me on these Shimano reels right here the Temple Fork out for your rod I am in love with it is so flexible it is so smooth in the water I just love it yeah guys that is my uh, rod and reel arsenal at the moment um, probably going to be upgrading sometime in the near future, but as of right now, this has everything I need from crankbait, topwater, swimbait, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, finesse, you know, it's everything I need right now, but that is it for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this little insight. Just so y'all know, news update, I'm going to Florida tomorrow. Yes. I'm finally going to Florida. I've never been, never been deep sea fishing. I've fished out in the ocean a few times, but never had any luck. But we are going straight to Florida, driving there all through the night. Going to get there, going to get on this boat charter, go out in the ocean, and we're going to go deep sea fishing. And I'm going to make sure to get as much content for y'all as I possibly can. So y'all stay tuned for some awesome bangers coming up. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and support Dark Real Action. I'll catch y'all next time, and y'all keep it real. Peace, guys. One more thing before we go, I need y'all's insight, okay? So I've been using the uh, Kitex swim baits, I believe they're the four inch, for my past couple videos, and by catching bass on them, there was only one thing that I've had a problem with with the Kitex, and it's that if you get a nice size bass on, it kind of just destroys the bait. So right here, guys, I have this little setup that I've been going through back and forth. Okay, so I have these uh, Strike King Rage Swimmers. These are 3.75 inch. And I've been having a debate with myself and uh, a couple of my friends trying to see. So you have the Kitex Swimbait right here, which is great. I love it. It's just that it's not very durable when it comes to catching bass. Like, you catch one good bass, and it, like, breaks in half, or the tail breaks off, and it's a done deal. But it does catch bass. Now, I'm trying to compare this with the Strike King. It's a little bit fatter, more durable. I've been able to catch three, four bass at a time, and it still holds up. And plus, it's got these little end grooves right there, if y'all can see it. Right, the little indent where your hook goes, so it kind of hides, so it's more weedless. And the Kitex do not have that, unfortunately. Now, I love Kitex. I really do. I'm not, I'm not dissing on them right now. I'm not putting them down. They're great baits. It's just that the Strike King, for a dollar less, I mean, you do get, only get a pack of uh, three, five, compared to a pack of eight Kitex. So you get a pack of five for a dollar less, but I think the durability is a little bit better. Now I do put it on these type of hooks right here. These are the Fusion swim bait hooks with a one eighth ounce uh, weight right there. And that is just,
perfect. It's right on the money. So if y'all have any uh, insight on anything like this, or if you come to the same problem as I do with these two awesome uh, plastic swim baits, please leave a comment in the comment below. Let me know. I'll make sure to look at those and give you my opinion. So uh, yeah. That's it.